I'm used to performing under pressure. I wouldn't own a business if I didn't like to lead people. Sometimes you just have to uh, bow to the absurd and, and say, there will never be anybody that, that can help me because they can't work to my standards. I figured I had to build a plane because I can't, I can't afford to buy one that will perform like I want. Yeah. So the only way I can get one is to, is to build it. And I don't want to just go up in a little Cessna and fly straight and level. I like to fly upside down. I'm a third generation tool maker. Yeah. And so I grew up in a machine shop. Probably the first time I ever turned on a lathe was when I was nine. I learned how to weld by the time I was 11. And engineering seemed like a logical uh, choice. You know, partly because I wanted to find out what sort of magic all those arrogant engineers had. And I go to school and find out, well, they haven't got any magic at all. I like to lift weights, yeah. I, but I never had any interest in sports uh, in high school, and I'm glad now because you know my knees and ankles and hips work, yeah. and that's a good thing. You know, there comes a time when somebody, everybody has a boss. You know, as a business owner, I've got 30 bosses. They're just called customers, and when they say we want you to do this, even if I know it's wrong, I you know it's my duty to tell them. Um, I'm not certain that's what we want to do, but at the end of the day, if they tell me to march off the cliff, I'll go march off the cliff. Because the team's got to make it. If the team doesn't make it, nobody makes it.